Hi, welcome to the Functional Skills Network. So I've just seen that on the non-calculator paper, you have to order fractions, decimals and percentages and put them into um, smallest to largest, something like that. So I'm going to have a go at demonstrating this question to you. So uh, the question that I looked at has got a fifth. It's got 0 0.05, 17 over 50 and 0 0.15. Um, now we're going to work out, um, try and put them all into the same system to begin with, I suppose. Um, and me personally, I like decimals or I like percentages. Um, fractions are a bit of a difficult one to compare, I think. So um, we've got a fifth. 0 0.05 so I think they've tried to confuse us here by putting lots of fives in so I think we will go for putting them into percentages first and then uh, convert them into decimals because I've got one decimal here already oh no another one so we can clearly compare those two easy enough can't we so it's these two here so a fifth now, if I want to convert that into a decimal or percentage, several different ways. I could do find a fifth of a hundred. So that would be a hundred divided by five. Um, one hundred. This is a nice easy sum, actually. So I'm glad I thought of this one. So fives into one don't go. Carry the one over. Fives into ten go two. Fives into zero, zero. So I've got 20. What does this mean? It actually means 20%. So I'm going to put 20% there. Right, OK. Then I'm going to convert uh, this 17 fiftieths. So I'm going to show you a different method for this. 17 fiftieths. I'm going to put it into a different fraction first. So if you've got a fraction that's got a bottom number that goes into 100 nice and easily, this is a great method. So how many 50s are in 100? And that's 2. So we know that 50 times 2 would equal 100. So I have to do the same to the top as well. 17 times 2 is 34. Now 34 over 100... Hopefully you know that that means 34%. So what have we got here? We've got 34%. Still not all in the same format. We've got percentages and we've got decimals. So which way do we go? I think we'll put them all into percentages, actually. Um, so we need to know what is 0 0.05 as a percentage. Now, I know what this is. This is 5%. And I know that this one is simply 15%. So if I want to put them in order, OK, which is the smallest one? I can see that this is the smallest one. So what I would do, my nice easy method, is I would write uh, 1 there. That's the smallest one. And then next one, bigger than 5%, uh, is my 15%. So I'm going to write 2 there. Then I've got 20%, which is 3 and 34%, which is 4. Now, you're, you're then asked to put them in the correct order, but you don't put them in this order, you put them in the original order. So I can see that the smallest one that I've got here is 0 0.05. So I'm going to cross that one out because I know that I've done it. My next one is 0 0.15. Cross that out. Number three is a fifth. And the final one, 17 over 4. 50 that's right isn't it okay so this is probably a, just a one or two mark question it's not a huge one and it didn't actually take that long to do so if you're unsure how to turn uh, decimals into percentages watch one of my other videos and I'll explain how to do that in there that's fine um, and I'll catch you on another video have a good day bye